We have a 62-year-old lady with uh, pancreatic cancer diagnosed uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we started her on Lorta, but unfortunately it did, it done, it did not help her pain. Uh, during last examination by EUS and by CT scan of the abdomen, there is clear evidence of uh, involvement of the celiac artery, and therefore uh, she's not amenable for surgical evaluation and surgical resection. Uh, we counseled her regarding the need for celiac plexus neurolysis, and she's here today to undergo that procedure. Um, many studies uh, published to date uh, suggest that endoscopic ultrasound-guided celiac plexus neurolysis uh, is really helpful in this setting since it leads to uh, success in about 70 to 80 percent of the patient. Uh, it's a safe procedure, it's uh, performed on outpatient basis. Uh, under conscious sedation. Here we have given our patient uh, a slow, low dose of uh, Demerol and uh, Versed, and we use some ketamine as an adjunct to uh, sedation. Um, uh, typically, we insert the echo endoscope uh, to the level of the celiac artery. The echo endoscope is inserted in the patient esophagus. It was a smooth intubation, and when we are at about 35 centimeters from the incisors, we switch to ultrasound. And the landmark we look for is really the descending aorta uh, uh, at about 35 to 40 centimeters from the incisors. The descending aorta is a tubular organ, as you see here, with Doppler, uh, color Doppler ultrasound. Once you identify the aorta, uh, uh, you push forward with the echo endoscope till you find the first branching uh, artery, and that's the celiac artery. To confirm further, it will be nice to demonstrate the superior mesen mesenteric artery, as you could see in this image. Uh, back to back, this way you are sure that you are performing the celiac neurolysis in the right area. This is the anatomy here. You see the celiac artery in this area. Superior mesenteric artery is here. And in a moment, we'll show you the uh, descending aorta at this level. Also, for uh, confirmatory purposes, we perform color Doppler sonography to identify further the celiac artery and to ensure that there are no intervening vessels in the way. The arrow actually is a good location uh, and estimation where I need my needle to be. I'm currently using the uh, uh, CPN Fenestrated needle. It's a 20 gauge needle. I think the advantages are clear with using it Okay, I think I crossed the wall of the stomach here and then we're gonna aspirate to ensure we don't have any blood return We're performing the injection. Again, it's all at the tip of the arrow. You see the needle in place. And that actually created nice cushion for us to inject the alcohol. Now here we better be sure about the needle placement. Go ahead and that's right. Uh, since uh, the alcohol will create a hyperechoic shadow that will block our view as you'll see in this image. Okay. As you see that the injection is really quick with this fenestrated needle. We use the bubivacaine 0.25%, six cc's, and we injected 20 cc's of absolute alcohol in this area. We withdraw the needle from the scope.
and at this time the procedure is terminated.